Graduates and guests, please be seated. Good evening. I am Mark Schluck, and I have the distinct honor and privilege of being the principal here at Grand Valley High School. On behalf of the Board of Education, administration, counselors, and staff, I am delighted to welcome you to the graduating class of 2023 mid-year commencement ceremony. Tonight's commencement will recognize and honor seven seniors, soon to be graduates, for successfully completing the requirements set forth by the Grand Valley Board of Education. Graduates, take a look up there real quick. Wow. Think about that. There are people sitting in the, well, find yourself first and hopefully you can identify yourself. <laughs> Uh, but there are people sitting in the crowd right now that are thinking, wow, how fast time can fly by. And remember this picture like it was yesterday. Take a moment just to think about that. Think about your journey along the way. On the program, you can see the model for the class of 2023. Don't go where the path may lead you. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Leaving a trail requires the help of many individuals. And all of you on stage have had people, hopefully sitting out there, that have assisted you along this journey. Tonight, take time to think about how they maybe helped you in this journey. Take time to cherish all those good times. And also think about those times that maybe weren't so good. A combination of all of those things together helps shape who you are today and the success leading up to this stage and the culmination of graduating high school. As I get older, I cherish nights like this. My challenge for you is don't forget to live for today. Never take anything for granted, making sure you are the best version of yourself that you can be. Don't sell yourself short. Never let an opportunity in front of you fade away. Reach for it as it will lead you to the successes of tomorrow. I am honored to share this stage with you tonight, and I am proud of all that you have accomplished. But please remember that this is just the beginning. Now I'd like to share a little information about this year's commencement speaker. Some of you have had him as a teacher, might have been a few years ago. But Mr. Brady Olson has spent 17 years in the Grand Valley School District. His first 16 years in the district were as a Brandon Valley middle school teacher where he taught social studies. This past year, Mr. Olson moved to the high school where he now teaches business classes and is in charge of the internship program at Brandon Valley High School. Mr. Olson has the amazing ability to positively impact every student he encounters. He has been nominated for Teacher of the Year so many times that I can't count. And he was honored in 2012 as the Brandon Valley School District Teacher of the Year. Mr. Olson is married to Angie, who is a second grade teacher at Fred Aston Elementary, and they have two children, Layton and Brecken. In his free time, Mr. Olson finds himself playing a lot of kids' board games, reading kids' books, having dance parties, playing school, house, and restaurants. In addition, the entire Mr. Tyler Olson family loves traveling. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the mic, Mr. Brady Olson. Graduates, congratulations. This is awesome and exciting, and how awesome too that it's so personal that it's for you seven, and these people and our school members, uh, staff and administration and the board are here to celebrate and honor you. Right now, you probably have a mixture of emotions. Some of you are super excited and ready to be graduated and moving on to the next chapter. Some of you are probably a little nervous about this unexpectedness of what's next and the future and what entails ahead for you. Your parents and family members are probably in some of the same boat, where they're excited, but they're also nervous. Those emotions are real and a part of life and very common. One thing that I know we all have in common tonight is a sense of pride. And we are proud of you for the accomplishment that you've made getting here to this point. But as Mr. Schleckway said, this isn't just the end. 
this is a checkpoint as you continue to go in life, making a difference. And no doubt, you are proud as well of all that you've accomplished these years. Tonight, I want to share with you four analogies based on trees. Uh, as a kid, I grew up on a farm and loved being around the trees, and even as an adult, I still enjoy looking at trees and marveling at them in a number of ways. So the first thing about trees I think about is how trees begin. Trees begin as a seed, and they're planted, and they take a long time to grow and develop. There's no shortcuts. A tree can't go from a seed to all of a sudden a full-born tree. And so in life, remember that. Don't take shortcuts. Continue to work hard and all that you do. Give your best. Persevere through things that are challenging, but also realize that things take time and being patient and never giving up, but keep going. Also with that idea of the tree that is constantly developing and growing. Be a lifelong learner all of your life. Number two, in the 1990s, there was a thing called Biosphere 2 down in Arizona. And eight researchers, scientists and researchers, went into this biosphere for two years. And they went in to study Earth's living systems. It was a miniature version of Earth. And they discovered a lot of things, but one thing that was interesting were the trees. The trees in this perfect environment sprouted up and grew tall really fast, but then they toppled over. Scientists couldn't figure out what was going on, and they realized that there was no wind. And what happens is, wind is needed for trees to be able to grow and support itself. Trees develop stressful as they're whipped around with the wind. And think about that. You already face challenges in your life, but you will continue to face challenges all of your life. When those challenges come, embrace those challenges. Learn from those challenges and grow. Develop that stress wood in your life to be able to learn and grow and continue to meet the challenges you face. Number three, this summer, I had the opportunity to go to California with my family. And we got to see the redwoods and the sequoias. These massive trees, how tall they are. Some of them, they're up to 300 feet tall. That's the length of a football field vertical. You're walking around, you're amazed at how tall these things are. And you think that because of how tall they are, their root system would go incredibly deep to be able to sustain and hold up these trees. However, the roots only go down about six feet, which is about my height, and then they spread out horizontally, and they intertwine with other root systems of other trees. I want you to think about that as you continue on through life. Who is your support? Who are going to be those people in your life that you're going to connect with, that you're going to intertwine your life with, that you are going to be there, that they're going to be there for support for you, encouragement, hold you accountable, challenge you, because you will face storms in life. But at the same time, not only are other people there for you, how can you be there for other people to continue to support people and strengthen them? Because together, you continue to grow taller. And then the last thing about trees I think about is when I was a kid, there was an awesome book by Shel Silverstein, The Giving Tree. An incredible book about the idea of a tree and how a tree really is selfless. That what it does is it provides for other people. It's not all about itself. And so when you think about that, uh, we use trees for all sorts of things, whether we're climbing up those trees to act like we're on a lookout tower. If we're swinging from the trees, animals use the trees for their homes. We use wood for a number of different reasons. And there's fruit from trees, but we also see there's beauty. We see the beauty of the trees. They can fall when they lose their leaves and they turn into all different colors. And as we see the morning sun kiss the frost-covered branches of the tree, there's beauty in trees. And all of that is for us to be able to enjoy. But one thing about trees we often take for granted is the idea that they produce oxygen. The Department of Agriculture has found that one large tree produces enough oxygen for four people daily. And so what I think about that is continue in your life to serve others, to bless others with your gifts, your talents, what you're able to do. Be about other people who are making a difference in their lives, even if it goes unnoticed, like the oxygen that's produced by trees. Continue to make a difference in all that you do. And so you see, trees are something very simple and we can take for granted, but a lot of life lessons. And we are so excited for you and what's next. Again, some of you may have some nerves, but a lot of excitement. We know that you are going to continue to do amazing things. And know that your family and the school staff and members, we're here to support you. And we're proud of you. We love each and every one of you. We're excited for your future. And know that you are going to make a big difference. So congratulations. And that's wishes as you head off into your future. Thank you, Mr. Olson. I would like to welcome to the podium the superintendent of the Grand Valley School District, Dr. Jared Larson. You want me to follow that? <laughs> Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, can, I, can we get a round of applause for Brady Olson? That was, that was incredible. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to uh, uh, introduce the members of the Board of Education here with us this evening. Uh, President Ramon Ellum, uh, member Nick Scott, 
trees. I'm going to talk about chocolate. Has anyone ever heard the statement, life is like a box of chocolates? You never know what you're going to get. Have you heard that, have you heard that before? Yes, yes. In the crowd, have you heard that before? Life's like a box of chocolates. You know, yeah, you yeah. Okay. When you take that box of chocolates and you flip it over, they actually miss the ingredients. And it is really, really helpful. If I see coconut on the ingredient list, I put that box of chocolates back and I go get a different box of chocolates. I don't know if you graduates are with me on the no coconut thing or not, but that's a real thing for me. I, mean, I just am not going to do any coconut. To the ingredients, I know what that box of chocolates has. Goes back on the shelf. Okay? Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. But there is an ingredient list. Your graduation is a component of your box of chocolates. What are the ingredients that are you, you're, you're going to take with you as you embark on the next phase of your life? Ingredients like hard work, commitment, perseverance, a positive attitude, and outstanding effort. There's going to be some surprises, right? It's like when you bite into that strawberry marshmallow cream, it's like, ugh, right? There's going to be a surprise or two. But if you are careful about the ingredients that you pour into your life, into your box of chocolates, you will have tremendous success. Congratulations on your graduation. We are so proud of you. Job well done. Forever links. Go links. Dr. Larson, members of the school board, Mrs. Moore, Mr. Paula, members of the school district staff, family, and friends. These seven students have met the requirements set forth by the state of South Dakota and the Brandon Valley School District. The time has come for them to be presented with their diplomas. I would like to welcome to the podium Associate Principal, Mr. Jordan Palmer. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present the 
Brandon Valley School High School mid-year graduating class of 2023. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you for coming, man. Thank you for coming.